Hi there, my name is Jeremiah Salaska, and I'm the creative director and CEO of This Cell. We've been making games for over 12 years, and we're best known for our multi million selling titles Drawn to Life, Run Ru Run, and Scribble Nuts. At This Cell, we've always been interested in pushing the boundaries of innovation, so today I want to unveil a new universe that we've been working on. It's called Anchors in the Drift, and it's a free to play action RPG with the unique twist of giving players the freedom to create their own abilities from collectible cards. In this game, an interdimensional empire has invaded Earth through time, causing islands from different civilizations to be spread across a quantum ocean known as the Drift. Now heroes from all generations, called Anchors, must liberate these islands. In the Ability Forge, you can craft abilities for your Anchors from collectible cards you've acquired called Arc Mods. Each Arc Mod has a cost, cooldown, and rarity. To create an ability, players drag and drop Arc Mods, like Forward Dash, onto the workbench. Let's combine Cleave after Forward Dash to create an attack. Dropping new cards in different orders, like this Siphon Health, changes how each ability behaves. Players acquire new Arc Mods by unlocking crates with keys gained from in-game currency or real money. Let's give a quick overview of the Drift. The Drift is divided into two opposing oceans on a 2D map. Each sea contains a different gameplay mode, a single-player campaign with a leaderboard called Warfront, and an open-ended mode called Recon. Islands, known as Remnants, are dynamically generated and separated into archipelagos of different civilizations like World War II England, Ancient Egypt, or Feudal Japan. These dynamic encounters force players to try out new ability combinations. Each remnant has unique enemies and modifiers, as well as different map elements and layouts. No two are exactly alike. Players apply their user-created abilities to counter these unique challenges, almost like solving a puzzle. After liberating a remnant, players gain rewards and crafting materials to upgrade their ship or modify their break on them. This allows an anchor to increase their base attributes. We're very excited to be partnering with FIG and love that they've created a platform for crowdfunding as well as investment. Anchors in the Drift is currently in pre-alpha and slated to release in late summer of 2016. This product was designed from the ground up to support an expandable and modular universe. We plan to add new anchors, new remnants, new enemies, new campaigns, new break gauntlets, new arc mods, and even new modes like real-time co-op. We've all been working extremely hard on this game, and we're very proud of our progress. But now we need your help to finish it. 